I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Johnny. What's up? I have a problem with Lisa. She says that I hit her. What? Well, did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. What's new with you? Well, I've just been thinking. I have a question. I think yeah. girls like to cheat like guys do. What makes you say that? I don't know. I've just been thinking. Once knew this girl, she had a dozen guys. One of them found out, beat her up so bad she ended up on a hospital on Guerrero Street. Haha! <laughs> what a story, Mark! Yeah, you can say that again. I'm so lucky I have you as my best friend, and I love Lisa so much. Yeah, you're lucky. Well, why don't you find a girl, Mark? Maybe I do. I don't know. Well, what happened? You remember Betty? That's her name? Betty? Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't really talk much. She wasn't good, bad. She was beautiful, but we just had too many arguments. That's too bad. My leash is great when I can get it. Man, I can't seem to figure women out. You know, sometimes they're too smart. Sometimes they're just flat out stupid. And other times they're just evil. It seems to me that you're the expert, Mark. No, nope, definitely not an expert, Johnny. Who's bothering you, Mark? Nothing, man. Do you have some secret? Oh, tell me, man. Tell me what's going, going on, Mark. Oh, forget what's it. Going on? The forget what's going on? I'll talk to you later. Well, whatever. Well, how about that? Hey, guys. I'm Dylan Coates. Welcome to the Coatsy Show. And today, we're going to be talking about a movie that came out back in December. It's about the making of one of the worst movies ever made. I should say one of the worst best movies ever made. Because it has quite the cult following. Hey. Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, hey, I thought I heard you were talking about it. So here's the movie, oh. everybody. The Room, written, directed, produced, starring Tommy Wiseau. Well, we're not talking about that movie. That movie has something to do with this. Yeah, we're talking about... James, James Franco. Franco. We're talking about the disaster artist. Yeah. Directed and starring, and starring James, Franco. James Franco. And before we begin, we planned to do this review back in December when the right. movie first came out, but we didn't really have time to do this. And now some... Allegations have come out against James Franco, and we stand with all the women who have come out and spoken against this. Mm -hmm. Not just against James Franco, there have been tons of cases of this. So we stand with those women. If something's happened to you, keep telling your stories, and I think that's all we have to say about we'll that right now. So, the disaster artist. The disaster artist. This is a movie starring James Franco, Dave, Dave Franco, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. And many other people. A whole know, yeah. bucket load. A whole of people. A lot of people. A, a lot of people you full know. Of people. A lot of people you know. Yeah. Yeah. So the movie really takes you inside the production of one of the best worst movies ever made. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's what I like about this movie. Even if you have never seen the movie The Room in your life, you know nothing about it, you can still enjoy this movie. The first 40 minutes of it, you don't even get on the set of the movie yet. Right. It's just Greg Sestero, played by Dave Franco, and Tommy Wiseau, played by James Franco, meeting each other, becoming unlikely friends. Yeah. And that's what's so and that's yeah. what's so great about the first half of the movie because you get that you get that brotherly chemistry uh, between James, yeah. James and James and Dave. Yeah. And honestly, like when I heard that it was gonna be both them both them playing the lead roles, yeah. I was kind of yeah. I was like, like it kind yeah. of seemed a little yeah stunt casting ish maybe. Yeah, James Franco yeah. getting his brothers Just, to yeah. be in his film. Yeah, James and Dave Franco they also look quite a bit alike. Yeah, but kind of. Yeah, yeah. But you don't really, that doesn't really ruin the movie or anything. Yeah. Because the two characters, they're not related. Their performance is all great. Yeah, that's something about James Franco's character. Tommy was so. Yeah, James Franco is Tommy was so. Yeah, if any, if you like, got fans of the room. Or if you've seen Tommy was so. Or if in you know of or, Tommy, yeah, Tommy yeah. was so, then you're in for a treat with this yeah, one. Yeah, this is a. James Franco, he. he good performance. Like the first time I saw it, or the first time, like. The trailer, came the, the trailer came out. Hearing his accent and hearing James Franco yeah. it was say say those lines like the "I did not hit her." Yeah. I did yes. not. <laughs> oh hi, Mark. Oh hi, Mark. Yeah. It was kind of. We weren't oh. 
Well, yeah, what we, would you say? We were kind of unsure about that at that point, but as more trailers came out, it got better and better, and yeah. finally the, we saw the movie. Yeah. It's great. And it's we'll, a great performance. It is, yeah. it's James Franco won, obviously, the Golden Globe, the Golden Globe for, for his performance. <laughs> yeah. We got one very funny moment out of that. Mm -hmm. I think you know what we're talking about. And the thing is with, with James Franco and playing Tommy Wiseau, it's it's so weird because it's a it's a great actor playing a bad actor. Yeah. Which you would think would be easy and you think that, but it's also like, man, he's playing he's really it's digging not into just this bad. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not just him it's not just Franco putting on a wig and doing an accent. Like he lives and breathes. Yeah. Tommy was so you got like the physicality yeah. and, like every like like every yeah, movement and everything. Think, yeah yeah and it just, it's just Tommy was so and Dave Franco is good Dave, Dave Franco Fuego, yeah Dave Franco he's good I, he kind of invented his own character in a way which isn't really a bad thing but if you've seen Greg Sestero in real life we saw Greg Sestero in real life yeah we went to a Q and A with him a month or two ago he was at a movie theater we got to meet him. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah. But he's pretty reserved in real life. He's not like. What, yeah. And Dave what, Franco in this, he's a little more energetic. Yeah. Than I think the real Greg Sestero is. Yeah. So if you're going, if you're but, going to this yeah. movie, <laughs> if you're big fans of Greg Sestero, <laughs> you might be a little disappointed. Yeah, but Dave Franco, it's a good performance. Yeah. It's a good performance. And who knows? Maybe Greg Sestero was more like that back in the day. I and never, I don't and fifteen years of the womb, or however long it's been, mm -hmm. has kind of worn him down. Yeah. So yeah, that could be possible. Yeah. So um, yeah. Now let's go. Let's, let's move on to that. In in the, the actual production. Yeah. Scenes. Halfway the, like the. So the, as I said, the first. first the first third 40 of the minutes yeah. maybe yeah the first 40 minutes of the movie are just these two guys becoming friends mm -hmm. which is great for newcomers to the room because if you've never seen the room and it went right into the production yeah. thing and you'd be a little lost yeah obviously there are the, those easter eggs for like the hardcore fans yeah the they kind of story. appear more during the production clear, scenes. Yeah. So that part still enjoyable for anybody, but if you've seen the room, this is like your <laughs> Yeah. This is your heaven. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot See, of fun. Yeah. You're gonna love this. So let's talk about the production scene, like the the second, the second third the set. of the film. Yeah. yeah, when they're on the set. This is where most yeah. of the shenanigans and all the funny stories come out from uh -huh. the real life production of the yeah. room. And what I love about this is that Tommy Wiseau, he, the real Tommy Wiseau, he's obviously supported this movie yeah. being made, the disaster artist movie being made. Because like he's been on, yeah, he's been, yeah, it's 99.9% 99 .9 accurate according to him. But um, he's been supporting this, but the movie doesn't really sugarcoat him. Yeah, no, that was like the, that a was... lot of it. You see him being a dick. Yeah, and if you've yeah, read, yeah. if, you, if you've read the disaster artist book, like written it, by Greg Sestero, yeah. and Tom Bissell, the appeal of that book was the honesty of, yeah. of Greg Sestero's point of view because yeah. he's kind of like the sane one out of the two. Yeah, <laughs> and that book does go a lot deeper into a lot of things. This movie kind of streamlines it and keeps it to yeah, as any as to any Tommy good, and Greg's friendship and as any good book the, to movie adaptation goes, <laughs> it, it takes kind of the best of. There was some great stuff in the book that's not in this, but yeah, true. but. I don't know, the movie would have kind of gone on a bit Yeah, if all it, that stuff I, had I, been. I was pretty satisfied yeah. with all the stuff that they, that they threw yeah. in the movie. Some people are disappointed that it doesn't show, like, who Tommy was, where he came from, and yeah. stuff, but, like, if they did that, it'd just be speculation. Yeah. Because Tommy has never revealed that. A little bit, but a not, little, not yeah, too much. Not enough. But it was actually kind of interesting, because Greg Sestero, at the, at the Q&A, he did say that he knew all the answers but he just went telling anybody uh -huh. which is kind of interesting so, to me. yeah so bottom line it's a great movie yeah the production scenes in this could have gone on for like maybe an hour or two more yeah and it would have been fine yeah and let's let's do a little bit of a shout out um seth rogan in this movie he was he was like for for a seth rogan role it was pretty good like yeah. Seth, like he like like it was it was kind of a, a you, drift one. You know when most movies Seth Rogen plays the same character. Yeah, he's the stoner. He's it's, the he's yeah. the laughing guy. And all and, all and he's he still he's still kind of is a sarcastic. Yeah, but it's different. He's you know he's like the producer of this movie mm -hmm. or the script supervisor. He's the producer of this movie. And yeah, the guy. Who did, yeah, <laughs> and but we see him getting more and more frustrated with Tommy Wiseau and the way this is going. 
Yeah. He really gets in Tommy Wiseau's face a lot of the time saying, okay, you're making this movie, stop fucking well. <laughs> yeah. Which is like... The I, scenes are good. The scenes are good. The scenes when, are when, when like the... Yeah. When they're like the, the really... When it gets heated and when like the emotion is like... The emotion yeah. is shown like it's... it's it's pretty good. It's put, and then, okay, let's talk about the ending. The last scene of this is the premiere of the womb. They go see the movie. They don't just show the actual womb movie in that scene. They, they show the actors from the Disaster Artist movie reenacting the scenes. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's great. But we see Tommy Wiseau being sad because everybody else in the audience is laughing their heads off at this movie. So he leaves the theater, is all sad. But then Gray comes out and says, "You made this movie. How many people can say that? Not a lot." And that's the whole like that's the whole heart of this movie. It's about and that's what J that's what James Franco wanted to get out of this movie, and that's yeah. what he got out of the story. So the story about about dreamers and about like people feeling uh -huh. passionate enough to get to tell a story, even if it's really messed up. Yeah, and it doesn't work whatsoever. Or at least if it doesn't work the way you want yeah. it to work. <laughs> it, it's like you can say it did work. Cause he got this done. Yeah, and he's yeah. like living off of yeah it to this day. Yeah, and then Tommy and Greg go back in the theater. Tommy sees all the people like enjoying the ridiculousness of the movie. Yeah, and that scene I've seen this movie twice now. Both times that scene has gotten to me. Yeah, yeah, like I feel a little tear in my eye every yeah, time I, I see that scene. Not just because you've been following these characters for this entire movie and you finally see that they've done something they've followed the dreams they've accomplished what they want to do but also because we both knew the room movie before this movie ever came out mm -hmm. so it kind of makes you feel proud to yeah it's like be a part of it's the, it, yeah it's, it's not just tommy's movie it's our movie it's yeah it's like everybody just feels so connected to yeah it because it's such a broken yeah. movie but, but that's like yeah we like, like going he, to screen he, going to screeners of it it's and throwing it's awesome. spoons and yeah. like yeah so we're, we're like, yeah i feel like that's time. that's the appeal of tommy was so yeah. right there then the end credits but before the end credits yes Look at that. Before the end credits, say, do a split screen. So on the left is the actual womb movie, and on the right is James Franco and all the cast from the Disaster Artist reenacting scenes from it. Yeah. Which I love that they did that because for people who have never seen the womb or anything, they've spent the past hour or so watching yeah. this movie, and you think, who knows, is this real or is this fictional? But then, the, this last scene shows you that, yeah, this is an actual movie. Yeah. It's just as ridiculous as you've seen for the past two hours. And it's pretty, like, there is. It's there, pretty bang on. It's pretty good. Yeah. Some nitpicks. Okay. Some minor, minor, minor nitpicks. The timing's slightly the, off. The timing. It's still of, pretty impressive. Some of the, some of the, I have to give it to James Franco. Like, he got some of, like, the, the body movements yeah. pretty well. Yeah. Uh, the the like the, the first scene the, when he's giving her flowers and he kind of tucks it behind his back, yeah, 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 yeah. Her, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it's it's good. Overall, it's a great movie. I had a lot of fun with it. I don't know if this would have gotten much Oscar. Hey, it did get. Before, hey, it got it, best it best, to screen. That's play. all that really matters. So Tommy's Tom, dream is so, is yeah. out there. And I hope, succeed. I hope if this wins, they put Quick yeah, to still yeah, on is. stage because he's the guy who wrote this book. Yeah, he's and like, he yeah, his point he's the yeah. Like Tommy point. got some some love at the Golden Globes. Give this one to Quick. With that so, said, what would you give this movie? I tell? would give this eight point nine. Eight point nine. Eight point nine. Greasy oh my God. black dyed oh my hair God. out of ten. Uh, I would give this a eight out of ten. Like it's a really great movie. If you've never seen the womb, it's still accessible to you. The book, the Disaster Order's book, does go more into a lot of the stuff, like, yeah. you know, speculation about Tommy's past. <laughs> um, yeah, and plus, this was early life. Yeah, but, and, yeah. and plus, the Disaster Artist book had a different ending. Yeah, it ends as the movie's about to start, yeah. when they're at the premiere. But this one, I think, it ends... It, it ends respectfully. It yeah. ends well... Yeah, I don't know what to It ends more like a movie should end. Yeah. Especially if you haven't seen the movie, because if it ended yeah. at the beginning of the movie, people who had never seen the movie would be kind of... Okay. Yeah. Whatever. But it's a great ending, so I give it 8 out of 10. Great movie. If you time. As we said, if you've never seen The Womb, you can still enjoy this movie, so you'll you'll have you'll have fun. Yeah. You'll, you'll, enjoy, have you'll enjoy. And if you have seen the womb, <laughs> you're gonna love this. Yeah, you you're gonna love this. Yeah. This is like your yeah. it's Christmas time. This is yeah. Okay, so 
Thanks for watching everybody. Come on, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been a good time. I'm gonna go back into and my we'll see stream. you guys later. How was work today? Oh, pretty good. We got a new client at the bank. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Oh, why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how's your sex life?